Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. We're going to go do work. Do work. Oh. I'm going to step in that. Thanks, Grace. Today, we are going to talk about the 10% rule, how it's kind of your top end, the key to making sure that you progress while staying injury free. Talked about it on a run today. So, all right, Trainiacs. I was actually just on a run earlier this morning. I took these little dudes with me. It was just a little recovery run. And somebody stopped to talk about running with these dudes and we got to talking about doing an Ironman. Now this person had done a few running races. He had done, I believe, one or two Olympic distance races, but he said, you know what, I just, I can't get through my head that I would be able to go as long as I need to for a full Ironman. And he said he wanted to do one, but it just wasn't in the cards. He didn't think that he would be able to build up to do it. And my response was, you can absolutely can. Humans are made for endurance. We evolved to be on our feet, active, foraging, hunting, gathering, doing things for 18 hours in a row. So when we start training for an Ironman, our body just soaks it up. And that's why I say absolutely everyone out there can do a triathlon. Absolutely everyone out there can do an Ironman. If you really want to do one, go for it. There's nothing holding you back besides a little bit of work. Now you do have to make sure that you go about that work properly. And I'm going to tell you now how to go about that with the 10% rule that I told to this fella that we were walking with. So I've talked about the 10% rule in other videos, but I haven't actually dedicated an entire video to it. The 10% rule is how you build up your endurance safely and appropriately. So let's say that you've got seven weeks here that you're just planning out your next seven weeks of training. And let's say you are doing your bike training, for example and you are starting at a point where you can do, let's say, 50 kilometers of biking. Well, the 10% rule means that you increase no more than about 10% each week. Now, the next week, you do 55 kilometers of biking. In the third week, I recommend two weeks of building up, one week of rest. You do about 60% less than what you had done the most recent week. So this gets us to about 33 and then when you come back from that rest week you step up from the most recent distance that you did so that gets us to 61 and then we increase to about 68 kilometers step it down a little bit back down to quick math here we're talking 40 kilometers and then you come back to about Brainstall, 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 75 kilometers. And you just increase all the way along, up and down, until you gradually get yourself to your Ironman distance race. And I've talked about the goal distances that you need to be able to ride. I haven't really talked about it in relation to running, but I'll give you a resource at the end. But first I wanna explain another way that you can look at your training. So the next way that you can look at this 10% rule is week by week, not just discipline by discipline or distance by distance. So let's say one week you accumulate two hours of swimming, five hours of biking, two hours of running, for example, getting in a total of nine hours of training. Well, you can then increase each of those total times that you're doing throughout the week by a total of 10% two hours 15 of swimming, 5.30 of biking, and 2.15 of running, getting you to 10 hours, which is roughly about 10% longer, just a little bit longer than that. But there is a third way that you can look at this. You can also look at it from the standpoint of total accumulated training hours, regardless of the disciplines that you're doing. So let's say in week one, you do six total workouts accumulating 
an average of one and a half hours per workout, you're looking at a nine hour total training week. Well, it doesn't have to be just six workouts where you're increasing each of them by about 10%. You can change that to even say four total workouts for a two and a half hour average, accumulating 10 hours of training, that same 10% increase week by week. Now, why you might wanna do this is say an example where I'm in right now. We needed to increase my long ride from last week going four and a half hours to this coming week being a total of six hours, way more than 10%. So instead of just increasing that long ride, what we did was gave me a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday rest week. So that's gonna be significantly lower, allowing us to be significantly higher in the long endurance bike and run that's coming up this weekend to get ready for that ultra endurance Ironman event. So at no point are we increasing the total training load by more than 10%. So the big picture of what you're looking to do is use that 10% guideline of total training hours accumulated throughout the week and the increments of how much you step up each long distance workout week by week. But you can also massage it a little bit. It's not exact, nothing but 10%. It's kind of somewhere in that five to 12 is sort of the right range. Now, if you're just getting started, that incremental, gradually increasing your endurance by 10% each week is gonna be safe. It's going to allow you to keep progressing. It's going to improve your fitness. And what I said to this individual I was talking to today is it's going to change your perception of time. Where you might be starting out thinking, I can't possibly go any longer than 45 minutes. Well, you go 49 minutes and then 55 minutes and then 60 minutes and gradually, it's just gonna feel like the same sort of effort. And your perception of time, mentally, you're not going to get as bored during those long rides as you think you might. Now what I've done is a lot of you have downloaded this before, but if you haven't yet, I haven't talked about it in a while, if you go to triathlonterran.com forward slash plan template, that's a completely redone training plan template where you can put in the date of your race, how many workouts you wanna do each week, and what it'll spit out for you is sort of an automated 10% increment based off of how far away you are from your race for your long ride and your long run, which are the more critical endurance building workouts that you need to do. So this will give you kind of an example of what you want to do throughout the week. So whether you wanna do four workouts or nine workouts, it'll say, well, here's what we would break down for those four or nine workouts and how long they need to be. So it gives you a little bit of a sample of what we do on teamtrainiac.com. So go check that out, triathlonterran.com forward slash plan template. You put your email address in, you get it for free. And uh, stay safe, 10%. Ideally, no more. Later, Trainiacs. Tired dog. That's the best dog. That's the best Pete. Gracie's just a lump over there.